well, it's the holiday season, so let's start a bunch of controversies and just ruin everyone's time. <laughs> I'm going to be as respectful about this as I possibly can. It's just, I really love the ARG genre. I've really loved unfiction. I love all the interactive narrative genres, and I see so much potential, so much love, care, and artistry in them that I just, I don't want them to fall into a trap where all of them basically just fall apart and we lose this beautiful thing that we've constructed together. I've got a rounded enough feel of it now where I'm starting to see where some of the cracks are. See if we can get through this together and just kind of point out what some of the major problems are and some behaviors we really need to change if we want this this whole world to survive, basically. So this is something I want to talk about for a long time, but again, it's a very controversial subject, and I've honestly just been nervous about it. I felt like if I talked about this, that the powers that be in the ARG community, the aristocrats or shadow government <laughs> within ARG, so to speak, would dogpile on me and basically just ostracize me from it completely. See, there's a really bad problem with cancellations in the community. And I don't mean people just getting canceled because they're doing something bad or doing something ultra controversial. I mean, they're canceling people that they don't like because they're afraid if they don't, they're going to be outshined by someone. There is a lot of jealousy, a lot of cannibalism within the community. And what I mean by that is, all right, so let's take a step back and look at it this way. There's a handful or so, let's let's just be fair about it and say maybe there's 12 really big explain channels. And when I say explained channels, I mean channels like Inside of Mind, Nightmind, Nexpo, Rainbot, channels that go through a series and explain what happened. They give you a breakdown of what happened so that people that aren't able to figure everything out of the puzzles and things, or they just don't have the time to comb through the piles and piles and piles of information, they can get a sense of what the story was. Those were great. Those were honestly, especially at the beginning, those were great for the community because it showed people the potential of ARG, the potential of unfiction, any type of interactive narrative. And it was wonderful. It was a very wonderful thing. But the community's response to that was very negative. And it's only continued to devolve to the point where creativity is no longer a priority. Telling a good story, telling a story that will affect a lot of people, that people will actually want to hear, that's not the priority. The priority is getting these big YouTubers instead of the actual community or their storytelling at large. So instead of making this wonderful story that a lot of people will like, that'll drag people in that way, focusing on their self, improving themselves, their own art, they're focusing on what will Nightmind want to see today? Out of the 12 videos that he produces in a year, which one will he choose? Instead of focusing on making it there by their own merits, they're focused on the big YouTubers pulling them up by the bootstraps and pulling them through into fame or into success. Do you see where the problem's lying now? It's the same that was in Hollywood. This is what poisoned Hollywood. They stopped focusing on the audience and started focusing on the big executives. Start focusing on what they would want to see so that they would be selected and put on display. It's, it's the senpai notice me of the entertainment industry. And unfortunately, that problem in Hollywood has leaked into ARG and fiction analog horror. It's, it's an integral part of it now. People are creating for the big creators and that's why they create. And that completely removes the artistry of it. That completely removes the heart and soul, the actual entertainment value of these videos. Things become more and more cookie cutter, more and more stale. And just like in Hollywood, everything is a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy until we're trapped in such a box that we can't create anymore. You're killing the artist. But that's only half the problem. <laughs> the other half of the problem is the communities themselves. Because of this toxic way of thinking where you're only trying to please the big names and not trying to create. And because of that, it's created a toxic atmosphere in which everyone is trying to cannibalize each other because they all want to be the one that's picked. And again, most of the big names only create one video a month, which means you've got 12 series in a year. If they want to be in that big 12, they're going to have to knock out the other names. So <laughs> every little thing they do, they can say something they don't like. It doesn't even have to be anything controversial or, you know, bad. It could just be something that could be perceived as something that could be taken wrong. And they're latching onto that to try to take out the competition, to try to destroy the competition so that they can be one of the 12 picked. It's created a cannibalistic, toxic society. It really has, and I hate that. I wish we could do something to defeat that. And honestly, if we start making content for ourselves and for our communities again, instead of for these big names, it, it'll take away a lot of that because there won't be that intense, fierce competition to be noticed by them. So you won't have to cannibalize each other. You can actually support each other, pat each other's backs, help each other rise to the top as part of an artistic, actual community 
instead of a rat race because it's become a rat race. And the problem is this has only been magnified by Discord servers. I'm not going to name any names. I don't want to cause a big problem, but it's caused that problem to be amplified times a million. Because now, not only do we have the big names amplifying series that they like, their Big 12 for the year, but now we've got a secondary within the community itself on a lower level that only displays series that they like. And it's not just series they like. It's not just a cu super curated list. It's series by people they like. So if they don't like you, they can just not like you in general. And now they've blocked off your series completely, not just from the world, but from the inner community on the Discord servers that they have absorbed into themselves. They blocked you off from the community. So now you've been blocked off on both ends. You're not part of the Big 12 from the big creators, and you're not part of the inner community because now they're gatekeeping that. And that's wrong. That's, that's a big thing we need to work on. Let series breathe. You don't need to control everything. You don't need power. This is art. Stop getting high off your ego trip and come down to earth for a second. This is people's hearts. That are being reflected this is art and you're poisoning the art for this corporate mindset that has destroyed hollywood do you want to destroy these series is money that important to you that you're willing to take away people's livelihoods so that you can propel yourself forward are you that selfish are you that crooked because that's what i'm seeing in these discord servers and that's why i can't support the arg community i just can't because it's so toxic and so vile and so disgustingly corporate that it's killing everything it's poisoned at the roots. And if we don't uproot these things and actually focus on the artistry and supporting each other, instead of putting the people that we want on pedestals and blocking everyone off, it's going to cannibalize itself to the point where there's nothing left. And that's a promise. And that's one of the reasons I haven't been covering ARGs as much as I used to. I experienced that toxicity firsthand. And it broke me down. Because I didn't understand one little thing that was extremely vague they talk down to me as a person, not just as a content creator, not just that video in particular, but as a person. And they gatekeeped me. I wanted to support someone who's a great artist that did nothing wrong, except didn't agree with what the consensus was, what the, the big underground community, the um, gatekeepers thought. Because I wanted to support someone who's a true artist and help artistry in general, they're now gatekeeping me by association because they're bad people. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm gonna say it. It's not even to the point where it's not okay. That's bad. You are bad if you are doing that. And I'm just tired of being quiet about it. I don't care if I get canceled in the ARG community. That's another thing. That's another reason I want to do this. I wanted to set myself free because I felt so incredibly barred and unable to speak and muted and censored because I saw these things and they held it over my head like I'm basically gonna lose everything. If I tell these secrets, if I tell these dark corruptions within the community, I don't care. I went ahead and I branched out. I started doing things on gorillas, started doing things on animations. I branched out so that you cannot destroy me in that way. Because there's nothing I've done controversial or wrong. The only thing that I did to get blocked off and get kept was supporting a fellow artist that you all blocked. Because you didn't like something in their series. That's fine. And that's where we're going to get into the analog horror stuff a little bit. You can go overboard. You can be disrespectful. And, and I don't agree with doing that. But if you're going into a series that's shock horror, you know it's shock horror. They advertise it as shock horror. In an interview I did with them, they said it was shock horror. And you get shocked by it. You shouldn't expect everyone else to lose something they enjoy watching because you didn't like it. You just don't watch it. You don't have to watch it. No one said you were required to watch this. You've been warned. You know it's in there. That's on you. That's not on them anymore. The world isn't supposed to be curated for you. There are things that are curated for certain types of people because you're not the only person in the world. There's billions of people in the world. And there's things curated for them, specifically. There's things over here that are curated for you. You don't need to wander around the entire world and make it all curated for you. We need diversity. We don't need to remove diversity. <laughs> this is the internet. There's stuff here for everyone. But again, in the same token, if you're going to be talking about really bad things and really controversial, horrible things, honestly, you shouldn't be doing that anyway. But if you're going to use it as part of your narrative, where it makes sense in the story, keep it respectful and definitely warn people of that. Because even if they're coming in for shock value, they're not coming in for that kind of shock value. You know that they're not expecting that. I know the whole point of the shock genre is to expect the unexpected, but in the same token, there are some things that people have been through that have completely destroyed their lives and they're recovering and they're getting closer to being healthy again. And they don't need to be knocked down to the bottom because of a blind side. So I get it. I do get it. But there needs to be accountability on both sides or it's just not going to work. And again, I feel like a lot of that, a lot of these controversial channels exist 
because they're being forced into the cookie cutter realm, because they're being forced to do the same thing in every series so that the big names will notice them. So the senpai notice me, <laughs> basically. So again, that's where the problem lies. That's the root of this whole problem, is that everyone has to be cookie cutter. Everyone has to do the same thing. Everyone has to go through the Hollywood copy of a copy of a copy of a copy template because we made it that way, because we focus more on what'll please the big names instead of what's actually good. That's the big problem with Disney right now. They're focused on accomplishing certain goals and they've just completely neglected the story. They fall back into their tropes and just put out another cookie cutter, cookie cutter, cookie cutter. Honestly, most of that's just to fill up their streaming services, but it's the same problem. They're not focusing on the story, giving us a rich story that we'll enjoy, and we're focused on checking all their boxes and getting out a certain amount of content for the year. We need to focus on quality over quantity. And these channels, they, like I said, they were good. Channels like Nexpo Nightmind, they're not meaning to do that. They're just doing what they want to do. They're doing what their channel was designed to do. It's the community's reception to that. It's the reaction to that that's starting to mess things up. ARG, Unfiction, Analog Horror. As communities, we need to buckle down, take a look at ourselves, and really try to move forward in a way where the genres will be taken seriously and will be taken into respect. Because right now, because of that cannibalistic system, we're always going at each other. There's always splits, always divisions, always fights, and it's over the stupidest of things, but it's because we want to be the ones noticed, so we're stepping on our friends' faces to try to get there. And that that's it. That That's the root of all this. We need to take a step back, look at ourselves, look at each other, support each other, help this entire world grow instead of stepping on each other and burying each other underground. Because if we do that enough times, there won't be anybody left.